हेलो एवरी वन हाउ आर यू ऑल आई होप यू ऑल आर डूइंग वेल आई एम अजय फ्रॉम आई आई टी धनबाद एफ एम एम ए डिपार्टमेंट एम टेक फाइनल एंड फर्स्ट ऑफ ऑल कॉन्ग्रेचुलेसन टू ऑल ऑफ यू बिकॉज नाउ यू आर एन आई आई टी एन इफ यू हैव पेड योर पेमेंट और एक्सेप्टेड ऑफर इन कोप इफ नॉट टिल नाउ देन मे बी यू विल बिकम सो कॉन्ग्रेचुलेसन्स वंस अगेन there are some frequent asked questions and there are some problems also which i faced when i came here to take admission so i thought that i have to make a video so that you all may not face the, those all problems which i faced so there are some frequent asked question which i will answer one by one and all the things related to your queries from first day of accepting offer in cope to till your db process uh, entering into your iit college all the questions will be answered by me and this process will applicable to all the iits uh, except accommodation which i will tell you about iit iis and dhanbad so if you are taking admission in any other iits then also you can watch the video especially the iit iis and dhanbad all the procedure will be same as i am telling you so first question about you have accepted the offer from cope and not what you have to do so when you accept the offer so within one to one day to one week you will get mail through the iit college with cope also or you have to also check the website every day admission portal of that particular college every day they will provide you link there for payment process and with the link when you do your payment there may you also find a form so in form there are uh, several details you have to enter like your mess related detail your personal information and your hostel related details some basic details they ask especially in iit as and dhanbad i am talking about so that details you have to fill then you have to do payment that link of the form you will get in the same mail of the payment so before payment you have to fill that form now about accommodation so officially there are guest house in iit which you can book if you any of your friend is still studying in iit so they can book behalf of you but if this facility is not available to you then unofficial especially i'm taking for uh, telling for iit as and dhanbad so when previous year many of my friends came one night before or one day before they directly came to college and the college provided them a hostel uh, the which hostel you are getting next day uh, during hostel allotment so they just give them the room to just to sleep okay so this facility you can get if you are coming early before one day before db then you can directly come to college and ask the college about the accommodation facility and officially they just give the room just to stay not food not everything okay this is especially for the people who are coming at late night so there is also bus facility which you can get iit asm dhanbad bus are already in the railway station one day before db so at every uh, 30 minutes or in every hour there are bus facility the schedule of bus facility you will get in your mail so whenever there is uh, around one week just before your admission date uh, for this year i think it, it was 21st july so before 21st july one week before 21st july you will get mail and also check your admission portal through which you have done your payment there will be one special offer letter and one will be mis mis form in mis form when you will download that form you will get all the details related to your hostel that which hostel you will get especially previous year we get amber hostel but this year due to sapphire hostel generally second year students shifted to sapphire hostel but sapphire uh, currently under maintenance so this year second year is currently in amber so maybe you will get sapphire so that all detail will be written in mis form that you will download there also your wifi and everything login detail will also be there one more one most important thing that there will be your email id and your password also so that email id and password you can log in in your mobile there you will get the bus schedule time and date 
date, time with bus driver number will be written there. So whenever you are coming in railway station, you can directly call to those number, ask to driver where they are and you can avail best facility to come railway station to uh, college directly. Okay. So uh, generally if you are uh, coming through autos or, or uh, e-rickshaws, you can choose those also they generally take 15 to 20 rupees per person but at that time you have luggage also so they may charge directly to drop to you only 50 to 100 rupees in between 50 to 100 and the third option which you can choose for accommodation is railway station dormitory rooms if you don't know about it you have to just search uh, irctc accommodation in youtube you will get detailed video of any of the person who have uploaded so you will know very well that how you can avail the very good accommodation facilities in iit dhanbad railway station also the cost of accommodation that is also very less because around 70 to 75 rupees you will get bed in dormitory in sharing or 200 to 300 rupees for personal rooms okay for 24 hours so that facility you can also check so these are about accommodation when you are coming just before your admission now about document verification time and date so time and dates are already mentioned in your mail which you will get uh, just before your db so so db will be take around one to two hour max to max one to two hour and the hostels are already allotted so you can after db after just db you can go to your hostel room there are list all the hostels and with your name and admission number that which hostel uh, which room number of your hostel you have get for IIT ISM Dhanbad students this is NLSC there your document verification will be done just to opposite to this this is called RD Chalk where you can get your breakfast and everything on the same day when you are joining at afternoon you will get your lunch your parents also can get lunch by just paying you don't have to pay now about daily need things what you will get in the hostel when you are coming for first day so in hostel uh, you will get only two beds there will be no bed seat no anything there will be only bed and room what you will get in your room okay all other things you have to borrow by yourself so there are uh, different stalls are provided on the same day when you are coming so on DV day so there from there you can buy the daily needs thing the price are almost nearby same what you will get from outside so every daily need thing you will get here you can buy next question about mtech stipend so yes you will get 12400 stipend per month mostly when you join in july so at july the stipend came at the end of the month like 15 to 15 so from 15 of july but you are joining 21st of july so from 21st of july to 15 of august this will be one month so you will get uh, this is stipend in first of september okay so near about first of september you will get, get from 31st of may to 15th of august then next from 15th of august to uh, 15th of september you will get on first october so this will be the stipend schedule mostly what you will get now next about your orientation so orientation is just after your document verification like 21st is your document verification so on 22nd i think there will be orientation called orientation class where your their professors and director will be there who will tell you all the things about the college and your classes curriculum there you will get your schedule also like uh, whole year schedule what will be your mid same end same and everything schedule will be there so that will be your orientation class and next bonus tips for the students who haven't accepted the offer from any IIT till now and they want any guide to know that which IIT and which branch I have to take so for that I recommend you to just go and check the placement sale what are the just this 25 2024 2024 uh, placement record of that particular IT in that particular branch then choose that IIT based on the real placement scenario because you are coming here just for the placement okay you uh, at the end if you are not getting placement then this will not worth it okay so once again congratulations to all of you and best of luck and if you have any other doubts and questions you can connect me on linkedin i will give you the linkedin profile
in description thank you